everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is making rings from coins. So let's get into it. So this method is actually really simple and there's only a couple things that you're going to need. One of which being is an anvil, but we didn't have an anvil floating about, so I've made this little setup right here. And it's just a few bits and bobs that I found floating around the workshop, stacked on top of each other with a weight on top, which is clamped into the vise as tight as I possibly can get it. And that's going to work really beautifully. Right, so there's only a couple other things that you're going to need. And you're going to need a hammer, a file, and you're going to need a drill. But if you want to cut your time down just by a little bit, instead of using a file, you can use a Dremel. Right, so let's get into it. So the first step is to grab your coin and your hammer. Place your coin on your anvil setup and just start lightly tapping the edge. And you want to try and be as consistent as you possibly can with this, making sure all your taps are as even as possible. And what's going to happen is that these edges are going to start folding in on themselves and the coin's going to start getting smaller and smaller. So I'm going to go off and do that now and I'll come back once I've made some progress. So I'll see you guys in a second. So here is an example of how it should be done. And you just want to keep going round and round and round until this edge starts to get much more flatter. Right, I'll see you guys in a second. So here we go, I thought I'd do a little bit of an update on this coin. And as you can see by this edge, it's starting to get flatter and flatter and wider. And what's happening with the coin, it's starting to get a bit smaller. So these marks on these coins, it just tells me once I've made one full rotation with the hammer, then I can spin it around the other side and do another full rotation. So it just keeps everything super even. So I'm going to continue on with this and I'll update you guys when I'm getting close to the end. So I'll see you guys in a second. So we're nearing the end of the first step and as you can see by this band it's starting to get a bit thick. But for size comparison I've got this ring here which I know is just a little bit too big. So I can compare the sizes and I can see that this just has to go a bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with this until I've finished and I'll be back once I'm done. So I'll see you guys in a second. So once you think you've finished the first step, what you can do is examine your ring. And if you see all these little knocks and bangs all around it, there's something you can actually do to get these out. And it's really easy. You just want to put your ring back on your setup, grab your hammer and just very lightly tap all the way around. And what this should do is take out all the dents. So just make sure you spend your time doing that. Okay, so here's where it starts to get a little bit interesting. So what I've done is I've marked the centre point of my coin and I've put it in a drill vise. So I can stick it underneath the pillar drill, put the size that I need in there and just bang it straight all the way through and then I can use like a file or my Dremel to get rid of the rest of the actual coin. Right, so let's do that. Okay, so let's drill. And there we go, so I'm going to take the time to drill out the rest now. So I'll see you guys once I've done that. So now the hole's been drilled, we can either take the rest of the coin out by using a file, or we can use a Dremel. So I'll give you an example using the file. So you want to make sure that your vise or whatever, whatever you're using to keep this coin in place is tight. And you just want to go with it, just take it all out. That will probably take about... 10 to 20 minutes to get it all out or you can use a Dremel which will take about three to four minutes. So I'm going to do that now and I'll come back when I'm done because we're basically nearly to the end of the video. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay so this is the point that I've got to using the Dremel and as you can see it's almost completely hollowed out but what I'm going to have to do is stick this in the vise and finish it off using my file. But the Dremel is still a good option just because it shaves quite a lot of time off what you're doing. You just got to make sure that you've got the right bits for the job. And I would show you the bit that I used, but whilst I was doing it, it sort of broke. Um, and I couldn't find a spare piece. So I'm glad that I've got to this point anyway, so I can file it out and I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done. Because there's, a, there's one more step that has to happen before we finish. So, I'll see you guys in a second. So now I've finished filing it out. This is what the finished result looks like. As you can see, it just needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. 
and look at that inside that's very nice as well and as you can see it perfectly fits on my index finger which is exactly the size that I wanted it to be and it fits really lovely so how we're going to clean this up is using the drill and having a steel wire bit on it so we can just clean it up a little bit and I'll show you what I mean and you just want to go all the way around So I'm going to clean that up now and I'll be back in two seconds. So here's the finished result and it looks absolutely beautiful. So let's give that a bit of a wipe on my shirt, see if we can get that any shinier. And wow, look at that, that is just absolutely beautiful and it fits absolutely perfectly. So that's something that I'm definitely going to be wearing from now on just because it's a piece of unique jewellery that I made. And I can't tell you guys how many times this has actually saved me especially when there's birthdays that I've forgotten that's coming up, people that I've forgotten to accidentally get Christmas presents for. But they still absolutely love this, and it's just a little piece or something unique that you can make for someone. Anyway guys, this brings me to the end of the video, and I really enjoyed making this. I've been making these for years, and they're always something good to make for someone, especially if you don't know what to get them. Anyway, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.